Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is evaluating expressions involving exponents. This is lesson 7-2 in our textbook, and, and don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. And here's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers, and our question here is how do we uh, use the order of operations uh, to evaluate expressions that involve exponents? Okay, so a numerical expression, you guys, is just a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols like uh, multiply, and add and subtract and, and divide and using parentheses and all of that. So here's a, a, a numerical expression. So it has a plus sign and a multiply and it has an exponent in there also. Here's another one right here with parentheses. Okay, here's another one with just an exponent with a, a plus four right there. Okay, so we'll evaluate a numerical expression when we find its value. So, so it, the directions usually say evaluate the numerical expression. And so that just means get the numerical value of that expression. So to evaluate an expression with more than one variable, we, we have to follow a set rule uh, that's called the order of operations. So otherwise you can get uh, multiple answers. So here's how the order of operations go, okay? So we perform uh, the operations that have parentheses first. So if you see any parentheses, you have to do that stuff in the parentheses first, okay? And then we find uh, the values of the numbers with the exponents. So do you remember in the last lesson with exponents? So if you see exponents, that's what's done uh, next. So parentheses first, then exponents second. And then we multiply or divide from left to right, okay? So you can do divide or multiply from left to right, okay? So whatever comes first as you're reading from left to right. If multiply comes first, you do that. If division comes first, you do that, okay? Whatever comes first from left to right. And then you're left with adding and subtracting from left to right. Again, it could be subtracting and adding, whichever comes first, okay? So I highlighted all of those because you might have heard of PEMDAS, okay? So parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, and then addition and subtract right there, okay? Now, you guys, um, uh, these could be in different order, so it just depends. Does the multiplication come first or the division come first? So you could have it in this order right here, okay? Or you could have these guys uh, switched around also. So it doesn't necessarily have to be PEMDAS. It could be PEDMASA or whatever. <laughs> anyway, so um, um, uh, there we go. So PEMDAS. So these two go together. So sometimes division comes before multiplication and sometimes subtraction comes before addition. But you do parentheses first, then exponents next, and then these two go together, multiply and divide, and these two go together, addition and subtraction. Okay. So here we go. John and Julie are playing a dart game. John throws two darts that are worth eight points and four darts that are worth four points. So we're going to evaluate uh, this expression, two times eight plus four squared. Okay, so here's the four darts that are worth four points each. So four times four right there. Okay, so now we're, let's find John's total points right there. So let's evaluate this expression right there. So we got to follow the order of operations. Okay. All right, so we do parentheses first, then exponents uh, next, and then we do these two together from left to right, whichever comes first. And then at, finally, at the end, we do addition and subtraction, or subtraction and addition, whichever comes first from left to right. Okay, so here we go. I just slid that up there, okay? So since there's no parentheses, let's go ahead and find the value at the exponent. So 4 squared is 16 right there, okay? All right, now we're going to um, uh, multiply, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and multiply that 2 times 8. Well, 2 times 8 is 16. Now we just add 16 plus 16 is 32. So John scored um, a total of 32 points right there, okay? All right, I know it seems easy, but kids get tripped up a lot. You just got to follow the order of operations, okay? So explain the order that we should perform uh, the operations to evaluate this expression, okay? Well, since there's no parentheses, we got to go right to that exponent. So find the value of 4 squared first. 4 squared is 16. Okay, and then we do, um, then we subtract because that comes first. Okay, we don't have any multiplying in there or division in there, so now we go to addition and subtraction. So we have to subtract first because that comes first. So so 50 minus 10 is 40, and then then we finally add 40 plus um, uh, 16 is 56 right there. Okay, all right. So let's try this one. Evaluate the expression 32 divided by uh, 2 to the third. Okay, so 
the order of operations, there's no parentheses, so now let's find the value with that exponent, 2 to the third, okay? 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, okay? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, okay? So 2 to the third is 8, real common. Kids think 2 to the third is 6. Do you see how they get 6? They multiply 2 times 3. Okay, now we're just left with uh, 32 divided by 8, so now we just got to divide right there. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. All right? Okay, so here, let's evaluate this expression. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I see some division, some parentheses, some multiplication, and the exponent. Well, we got to do the parentheses first. So let's perform the operation in the parentheses first. 13 minus 4 is 9. Okay, so now we got done with the parentheses. So now let's just move down the ladder here. So parentheses, now we got to do the exponents next. Okay, so let's find the values of the numbers with the exponents right there. Okay, 2 to the third, remember, is 8. Okay, now we do multiplying and or division first from left to right. What comes first, okay? Well, division comes first, okay? So we're going to go ahead and divide the 72 uh, divided by 9, okay? 72 divided by 9 is 8, okay? Then what do we do, okay? Now we got there's still a multiply. We got to do the multiplication before we do this addition right there, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply 5 times 8 right there which is 40, and then finally we can go ahead and add 8 plus 40. 8 plus 40 is 48 right there. Okay? All right, so last month, you guys, B&B &B Test Prep had an approximately 10 to the 5th visitors to their website. On average, each visitor buys two lessons. Okay, so approximately how many lessons did B&B &B Test Prep sell last month? Okay, so... What we got to do is write an expression right here, okay? So the number of lessons sold equals the number of visitors, which is 10 to the 5th, times the number of lessons each visitor bought, which I believe was two lessons, okay? So the number of visitors times the number of lessons bought. Number of visitors was 10 to the 5th, and we'll put a multiplication symbol, and the number of lessons bought, they said, was about, here it is right here, about 2 right there. Okay, all right, so now we got to do uh, evaluate the expression 10 to the 5th times 2. Well, what do we do first? Well, there is no, um, uh, let me slide that up, there is no parentheses right there, so next we're going to find uh, the values that have the exponents. Okay, so 10 to the 5th. Well, 10 to the 5th is a 1 with this many zeros. Okay, so it's going to be a 1 with five zeros right there. All right, so that's 100,000 right there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and multiply 100,000 times 2, and so there's 200,000. Okay, so B&B Test Prep sold approximately 200,000 lessons last month. Wow, sounds like a good company. So why is the order of operations necessary? Well, if an expression had more than one operation, its value may depend on which operation we did first. And so the order of operations is needed so that everybody gets the same value. So here's a real quick example right here, 3 plus 2 times 4. Well, if we didn't have the order of operations, somebody might add first 3 plus 2, and 3 plus 2 is 5, okay? And then um, uh, 5 times 4 is 20. But that's not the correct answer because the order of operations says we have to multiply first. We've got to do 2 times 4 first, which is 8, and then... Oops, I made a mistake right here. And then, uh, so, whoops, I don't see my text uh, toolbar. So this should be, uh, sorry about that, this should be 3 plus 8, which should be 11 right there, not 5 plus 8. I don't know where that 5 came from. I don't see my text toolbar. I have to get that up here on the next lesson. Anyways, that should be a 3 right there, 3 plus 8. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Sorry about that mistake, and take care.